Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to mirror your iPad display to your MacBook. So on the Mac, the first step is you want to go to the search and you want to search out for QuickTime Player and open up this application right here. This is built into the Mac, so you don't need to go to the App Store, don't need to download this. Once you've opened up the QuickTime Player, make sure you click on it at the bottom and then you should see QuickTime Player show up at the top left. The next step is you want to find File and then New Movie Recording, click on this one. Now you can be brought to this page and by default, it's gonna bring up the uh, FaceTime camera so you can see my face right here. So the next step is you just want to plug in your iPad to your Mac. So all you need to do is get the charging cable and then plug it into the Mac just like this. So just plug it in. And if you get any trust uh, pop-ups on the uh, iPad, make sure to enter in your passcode. And then the final step is you want to bring your mouse to the middle uh, of this recording. And then you're gonna see this uh, icon right here. Click on this icon, and then you should see your iPad. So just select that iPad, and just like that, you're gonna see your iPad mini is now, or uh, whatever iPad you have, is now mirroring the screen. So there is a bit of input lag, just keep that in mind. However, for the most part, this honestly works flawlessly. You can see uh, you know, the recording is at a full smooth 60 FPS. And so if you want the mirror, that's great. However, what if you want to record the mirrored screen? Well, you see right here, this record icon in the middle, just click on the record icon and you can see the recording is gonna start. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna record every action you do. doesn't matter where you go. If you go to settings, it's gonna record it. It's gonna record every action you do. And so if you wanna stop the screen recording, all you need to do is you just click on the stop icon right here. And just like that, you can see we are now brought to this page and you can see this for recording. Now, when it comes to this recording, all you need to do to save it is drag and drop it to the desktop, just like that. If you have, you know, movie recording the MOV on the home screen ready, just click on replace and you can see that recording has been successfully saved. If we click on close here, it will ask you to keep a copy. If you don't want to keep a copy, just click on delete and then you are good to go. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.